as I said in my last video, I'm here to explain how these light strips work. If you purchased one of these tricolor LED strips from Radio Shack, you might be a little disappointed trying to run it with your Arduino with the instructions they give you. There's some printed instruction book in here that goes and it has a link to go to the website and that doesn't exist. <laughs> so it took me a while to find the instructions and then I downloaded the program and stuff and then it didn't work. So I had to go get some different code and I'm going to show you how that works. But first I wanted to just kind of show you how I wired up my Arduino to make this light strip work. A little bit about how the light strip works in general so that you can understand how to make your own programs and then I'll show you some sample code and where to get the libraries that you need to run everything. So first of all I wanted to just give a quick explanation of how I wired these up. Basically it has three wires on it. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. So there it goes. It's got three wires there coming from the light strip. Then those need to be 12 volts of DC power and then also a data line. So I had to basically split some things up. And I've got so I've got a splitter here and that goes to my battery for 12 volt power. And 12 volts goes both ways here. It goes out to the light strip on the red and black then it goes down to the Arduino here. Then I've got a signal line that goes straight from the Arduino to the light strip. And I've been running this for a while here and the voltage regulator here is getting a little warm but it's not hot. There's nothing warm or anything here so this, this is going to be fine for our airplanes, you know, to run it for 10 minutes or however long a flight is. It's going to be no problem. But that's how it's wired up. See, so you got 12 volts going into your Arduino, and then I've got the data plug going into pin 10 right now, and I'll explain that when I get to the code part. Okay, for a quick explanation of how this thing works, each segment of the uh, LED strip has what we call a TM1803 processor on it and so this processor is designed specifically to control these tricolor LEDs and it it's kinda cool how it works um, basically each three LED segment can be set to a single color. So we don't have control over each LED, but we have control over each three LED segment. So each chip is driving three LEDs. So we got three LEDs per chip. And so what this what this TM1803 does is it's kind of cool. It it basically it it, it lights up the lights um based on data updates that come down the serial line. So it only needs one data line and it only needs the two power lines. So that's nice because we don't have like five or six wires or whatever. Um, but here's what happens. When the TM1803 starts to get data, what it does is it eats it eats data like this Right. Each one of these is an 8-bit byte, so this could be like this, right? That would be the color red at maximum brightness. Um, so what happens is, as you send data down the line, you can send another set of colors, right? You can say, okay, here's another set. And this could be this, right? which is the brightest color of green and what happens is when you send this double set is the first TM1803 chip on the line basically eats this first 
a set of colors here and then passes this down the line right so the second chip that's on the line gets this color and it's cool because the second chip on the line basically doesn't hear anything at all until this is done being transmitted then the second chip sees a beginning of transmission and it eats this and anything after it gets passed on to the next chip so if we send a series of colors down the line it's very easy to light up each segment so if we wanted to have you know red green blue and then blue red green again we would just send 24 bits 24 bits 24 bits 24 bits 24 bits 24 bits and then end our transmission and that would light up six segments of the LED strip now we have ten segments on the strips that we bought so we really need to send you know ten colors down the line and so that's what I'm going to show you how to do with your Arduino and it's very simple alright this is going to be kind of hard to show but um, in order to make these lights work you need to go get some different code and I, I suggest you should go get this code from github um, go to github and I'll put this link in the video description it's Pololu LED strip for Arduino um, and all you gotta do is go down here and it explains how to set up your uh, Arduino environment with this library um, so download the uh, repository from here oh if you haven't used github before <laughs> here's how you do it go down here to this link where it says download zip and that will download everything into a zip file um, extract the zip file and like it says here and drag the folder into your library's directory. Now your libraries may not be called Arduino X, dot X libraries. Um, just drag it into your regular libraries folder and that should be fine. So after you've done that uh, start up your Arduino environment or restart it uh, if you need to. Alright now when you want to write your first program it's pretty easy all you have to do is include this code here at the top so you need pound include pololu led strip dot h and that should include the library that you dropped in um, and it should be ready to go then you need to create your led strip class object and to do that you you put in you know angle brackets what pin you want to use and I used pin 10 on mine you can name your object whatever you want but I called it LED strip um, and then there's some pound defines and stuff down here where we're creating an array to hold our colors in and giving the number uh, so we can easily change that so that's how, that's how many LEDs we have by the way we have 10 we don't have 30 we have 10. So if you continue on in this code, basically all I did is I have a loop where I use mod arithmetic to just rotate the colors a little bit. But um, if you hang on a little bit here, I'm going to show you some simpler code. Alright, now here's some simpler code. And I just wanted to show you this real quick. All you do is set your colors. Now I've set my colors to brightnesses of like 60 and 30 because these things are really bright <laughs> but um these are just basic primary colors and then some mixtures of colors as we go down I picked 10 different colors so we should be able to see the difference on the light strip and then I wanted to show you that it doesn't matter how often you update like you don't have to update often because the chip will just keep the colors on until you update again so after I write the colors this is all you have to do create an array of colors however many lights you know segments you have in your strip and then write that array to your LED strip object this is the only 
function that that object has. Uh, so you write that, give it the count, and pass the array. Um, you can wait as long as you want. I delayed one second, and then I just put that same code block again, and I kind of rotated the numbers a little bit. Then I, uh, oh, I actually have this wrong. Um, I delayed 1,000, and then I moved, I moved the, wrote the colors, but I'll fix that, and then we'll upload this, and I'll show you how it works. Here's my code, and I just wanted to explain this line real quick here. What this is, is this is creating an anonymous object with three integers, and then casting it to this RGB color object. And that is just a 24-bit color, like I explained before, that the TM1803 can eat. So, all we need to do now that my Arduino is plugged in is just upload the program like we did, like I showed you in the previous video. Alright, so after you upload the sketch, you're going to have to plug in your 12 volt power supply instead of the USB, but as you can see, our program is running. Um, I basically sent primary colors to the first three segments, I think. Um, and yeah, that's the last color blinking there too. So we got red and we got green. That's full strength. Red and green. And then we got blue and green here. Again full strength blue and green. And then we got some mixtures of colors. We started to use like pink. There's this yellow. sort of off green, greenish blue, white again, whitish, pinkish white, <laughs> different kind of sort of purple color, uh, this looks like kind of an amber color purple, and then there's white and a different kind of blue. So you can, you do have pretty good control over the different colors. You know, there's all the basic ones. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty easy to set up. But yeah, you, you know, you don't have to send updates real quick. Cause a lot of the sample code sends updates like as fast as it possibly can. But, you know, you might as well use that delay command um, and not have to do as complicated a logic as some of the sample code shows you. So there it is. My uh, Arduino Micro and LED strips from Radio Shack are running great. Um, now what I'm probably going to do is take and put three of these segments on each arm of my hexacopter so I need to go and buy another rope um, so that I can have at least 18 if I buy another one I'll have 20 so I can put two on the legs or something like that um, but I think we should be able to make a really nice light show with this and it's not very heavy it just does need that battery it needs a 12 volt battery and it, the Arduino micro weighs nothing uh, the lights are kind of heavy. I don't know. I might take off this sort of coating. They have like a, it's like a silicone rubber on here. Um, I might leave that. Might take it off. It, it, I know it adds a lot of weight, and I know these would be super light without it. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, very simple. Send me some questions if you have any. Uh, but yeah, you should be able to get up and running with that new instructions and everything. Uh, good luck.